Hey guys, welcome back to another fun-filled, exciting, and informative video. Today we're going to be talking about the new Hypershell Pro-X Exoskeleton. Now if you guys follow me on my channel, you guys know I love power assist vehicles, whether it be a one wheel, or my electric skateboards, or my hyper scooter, or my electric dirt bike, or my e-bike, or friggin' my electric hydrofoils. I love electric power assist. Well this is something really new that just came out. This is an exoskeleton power assist for your legs. So it's like an e-bike where it helps you, except this helps you walk, run, hike, even bicycle if you wanna ride a bike with this. It basically lifts your legs for you, or helps you lift your legs as you walk, run, or whatever. It's really an eerie feeling. Um, when I first bought this, I didn't think it was gonna be the motors were going to be as fast as it needed to be but it uses some type of ai engine where it really can kind of like you know anticipate your moves and and respond really really quickly so basically it's lifting my leg when i lift it uh, i've read online that i think uh 16 to 18 percent of your body weight uh, is in your legs. So I weigh 240 pounds. That means calculated out each of my legs is about 40 pounds in weight. So you don't really notice that when you're not wearing this thing and you're just walking because you're so used to walking, but your legs are actually quite heavy. And this thing just helps you walk. When I first got this thing, I was kind of walking all kind of weird because it's kind of a weird feeling. But once you just get used to walking normally, it's really cool because it does take a lot of the stress off of the weight with your legs. All right, so this isn't gonna be a really in-depth review, but I'm gonna be showing you know what it comes in, the container it arrives in, some of the components of the device, how it works, and then we're gonna go out into the field, run up some hills, maybe some stairs, uh, and see what we can capture. Now, if you are in the market for one of these, I paid $1,000 for this back in October. I had to pre-order it. I waited four months to get it. I've had it for 30 days now. I've used it probably 12 to 15 times. So I feel like I'm getting the handle of you know what it can do and what it can't if you are in the market of ordering one of these i do have a 30 dollar off coupon it's the best coupon i've found around it's only 30 bucks off you know a thousand dollars but hey it's something so click the link below if you're interested all right so it arrives in this like kind of styrofoamy type case not the most heavy duty but pretty cool and then you have the exoskeleton fold up it feels like it's good quality um, the only thing I wish it had right off the bat is metal adjustment straps. They're plastic. I haven't had any issues with them so far, but I wish those were metal. When I first got this, it didn't seem wide enough to uh, clear my hips, and I put it on, and it didn't. It was rubbing. Uh, and then I found out that there's adjustments here where you can extend it out. I have it on max. I think it goes to, like, yeah, six. And then there's max. You lock it in the place, luckily that fit me. Um, but you know, I definitely check your measurements before you buy this thing. If you're kind of heavy set, it might not fit. Um, and then down here on the bottom, the part that goes across your thighs, you can adjust this up or down. So that was also nice. I didn't realize that this was up pretty high on my leg. And then I was able to drop it down, which fits me a lot more nicely. On the back, you got the battery pack. It is removable, so you can just grab it, pull it out. Um, mine came with two batteries. I haven't really used the second battery yet because the battery life has been pretty darn decent. All right, and to put this guy on, you simply put it around your waist. I have it already, you know, set to my specific size, but you cinch it down there. Then you grab the leg, put it around your leg, strap it in. Got these quick release little tabs right here. I'm gonna put the other one on. And that's all there is to it. So pretty quick setup. And then to power it on, there's just one button here. You click, you click and then click and hold to turn it on. 
don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's lights. It takes about three to five seconds to boot up. And now we are up and running. I feel like a cyborg. I've always wanted something like this ever since I was a kid. And I saw exoskeletons could help you lift weight. And, uh, but you know, they were already mil they were, they were always military type equipment, too expensive for the average person. But a thousand bucks for this, I think is well worth it. All right, here's a close up of the operations. We're gonna click and hold. You can see those four LEDs turn on. It takes a few seconds to boot up, then it turns green and you're ready for action. Now there's different modes. This green is normal. If we click it again, you can see it turns blue. This is like eco mode. If we click and hold, excuse me, click and hold on green, that's what you do. It turns red. That is hyper mode. That's where you get a full burst of power, I think up to 800 watts. It doesn't stay on hyper mode indefinitely, but if you're you know coming up on a steep hill and you want maximum power, it'll uh, stay hyper mode for the duration of uh, what you need it for. All right, there's also different power settings. So, you know, each LED is like 25% power. I'm gonna switch it to green, excuse me, switch it to green and then triple click. And as you can see, we go down 25%. If I click it again, I usually only use this thing on full power, but you can, you know, conserve battery life and get more of an exercise if you don't use maximum power. All right, we're gonna do a little hill test without the exoskeleton. I'm not the best in shape right now. I just wanted to see how it feels without exoskeleton. <laughs> Definitely gotta start hitting the gym again. Hopefully this little exoskeleton gets me out of the house more. All right, and with the exoskeleton. Oh yeah, it's much easier. It's hard to describe how it feels. It just feels like someone's behind you pushing your leg. I remember my ex-girlfriend used to, we used to live down in town in Seattle, steep hills, and sometimes we push each other on the back, you know, to give some power assist when we're going up different hills. That's what it feels like, except you're not being pushed by your back, you're being lifted by your legs. I wanted to mention when you've had this on for just five minutes or 10 minutes, which I've been doing, you kind of get used to that assistance. So when you turn it off, it really, it feels like <laughs> you just gain some weight or you're on a different planet with more gravitational pull or something because you really notice how much more effort it takes to lift your legs. All right, I got a little decent grade hill here we're gonna climb. Now one of the main reasons I bought this is because I don't really enjoy hiking, but a lot of my friends do, and this new woman I'm dating loves hiking. And I, I like trail walks on like level ground, but hiking up stuff just was never my cup of tea. That's why I have all those power assist vehicles, including this new exoskeleton. But anyways, hopefully with this, it'll let me enjoy hiking a little bit more. So let's try and conquer this hill. It definitely, definitely helps. Again, when you take this thing off after you've had it on for a couple minutes, it really becomes apparent just how much assistance it was giving you. If we go turn back down, it's interesting. It knows when you're going downhill, so it doesn't give you any power assist, maybe like 5%. The moment you turn back, it's back up and running. I could see myself using this at a popular beach this summer without my shirt on, maybe walk around strutting this thing, pick up some chicks. I know women are gonna be flocking to me like hungry zombies when they see me wearing this thing. <laughs> I might have to turn on hyper mode to escape them. All right, so in this next scene, I used my drone to capture me walking. Unfortunately, I didn't have the uh, noise reduction turned on on the drone, so I have to dub over what I was talking about in this video. But anyways, this is an area I walk my dogs a lot. It's about nine miles worth of trails. I've been using the Hypershell a lot on this. Now, the most I've ever walked with this is about four miles. Uh, that was on full, you know, uh, uh, power assist. Not hyper mode, but just full power assist. There's a lot of hills going up and down. Uh, again, I weigh 240 pounds. After four miles, I still had about 50% charge. So I haven't really drained it completely, but I'm thinking probably, you know, seven to eight miles. Now, if you weigh less, 
uh, or the terrain is different or you have it on different power assist modes, you might even be able to get more battery life. Now, a lot of people might think this is kind of cheating, you know, robbing you of some, you know, burning some calories and exercise. And this is true, but maybe it will help certain people just get out and start exercising more. Uh, I know I put on weight a lot in the winter and with summer approaching, I should probably not be wearing this, but it is kind of fun to just get a little bit of assistance while you're walking. And just like an e-bike, you can turn down the power if you don't need it. I can also see my father, who's 78 years old, maybe picking one of these up. I might buy one for him. He walks about two to three miles every day to, for his blood pressure, and it helps. And But some days he just needs, you know, he has a sore knee or something, and I'm thinking maybe this would help him. Um, you know, get that out there and walk every day so he doesn't have to cancel. So anyways. All right, and so to wrap it up, we're just gonna go over quickly what I like about it, what I dislike. There's not a whole lot I dislike about it. I'm kind of picking at straws to get stuff, but what I like about it, I love the design. It's very comfortable, it's very lightweight. It's adjustable for a variety of body sizes. I'm six foot four, uh, 240 pounds, and this fits me great. Um, I like the interchangeable battery. I like the battery life. Again, I haven't rent, went full battery capacity yet, so you might want to watch another video if that's uh, what you're looking for. But I got four miles, still had 50% charge, and I was going up and down hills the entire time. Uh, the power, 800 watts, seems like more than enough. The company offers three different models. My f close friend only weighs 120 pounds. She's going to get the Go model, which is... I think like 700 bucks or 600, only has half a horsepower, where this one has a full horsepower. But for her body weight, I'm sure it'll be more than enough. Um, I like the one year warranty too. Hopefully this thing lasts, you know, this is new tech. Hopefully the company stands by any repairs that need to be done. But what I dislike about it, uh, the carrying case is kind of not as heavy duty as I'd wish, but I didn't even know it was gonna come with a carrying case, so I can't really bitch about that. Second, you know, like I mentioned earlier, all the clips are plastic where I feel like I wish they were more metal or aluminum. Um, but who knows, maybe I'm not giving them credit. Maybe they're a lot stronger than I, than I assume they are. I haven't had any problems or them break or anything like that, but I do wish they were a little bit more heavy duty. Uh, and lastly, getting it back into the case is kind of an education. Uh, it, you know, I could get it back in, but then I couldn't close it. You have to know how to rotate it and which arm goes down first doesn't take that much skill but other than that I highly recommend this um, please let me let me know what you think in the comments section below again if you're thinking about getting one of these claim that $30 off um, it's something you know off a thousand bucks you could buy yourself a couple smoothies at the top of the mountain or maybe a 12 pack of Coors Light whichever way you choose I hope you choose wisely hope you enjoyed this quick video please hit that like button if you did see you in the next video